Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back for another episode of Talking Placeables. We'll be talking about tractors so much today. We're going to be talking about some placeables and uh, another mod that kind of goes with this placeable. It's an auto loading pack that I wanted to show because uh, I, I know there's been some people that are having trouble with some of these special um, special uh, pallets for some of these productions. And this pack, I haven't tested it yet. We're going to test it right here. You can see whether it fails or not. This pack is supposed to be able to load some of those larger pallets. So we're going to try that out in this episode too. Now what I have here is the Sawmill version 1.2.1 .1 by s and Modding, or as it's so fun to say, Susie and Wiggy. <laughs> I love that. I love their names. Um... This is the same, these are the same modders that brought the vineyard pack, um, which I've been using on Beaver Creek that has those really cool animated workers that go through all this. Now, I haven't fired this up yet. All I've did is I've kind of staged some equipment. I, I cut some trees and I've, uh, I've been doing the best I can to get everything ready so that we can take a look at this together. So this is kind of like a first impression, and we're going to look at it. I've seen a couple videos, just glimpsed at them, just to see how it kind of works, so that I'm not completely lost for the video. But yeah, I wanted to check this out. So you get two buildings with the pack. This is a 222 megabyte download. You can get it over at modhoster.com. I'll put a link down in the description. And you can find these under miscellaneous in the in-game section, the sawmill. $250,000 and the pallet factory which is $200,000 so apparently you take the boards from here and you put them over there and then you can get pallets now I don't know if there's a production chain that's planned um, I did get a message on mod hoster I, I posted a comment for the original vineyard and uh, Susie said there's more stuff coming I don't I, I, there's I don't know what that means but we do know that they're working on some other things so there may be a whole production line that's associated with this even if not this stuff is probably gonna be really cool and I bet you it's gonna be animated and have some really neat features and some stuff that you don't see in other production mods so let's just get right to it and take a look at the building already I like the exterior it's big it's cool the doors don't I mean some people may say they're really big but if you're driving big equipment in and out it's really cool I like how it's kind of old looking. Windows are neat. Uh, these place down real easy. Of course, this is on flat surface. I didn't try it in an uneven surface, so I couldn't tell you there. And it puts down this uh, gravel concrete look. Of course, I painted wider. It just kind of puts down immediate area, but I made it a little bit bigger. Okay, so the door's open and there is a sound. Let's see if we can hear that a little better. Okay, yeah. It's not an overbearing sound. I like it. Let's see. Make sure these all open. Yep. It's all open. All right. Inside. Oh, that looks so cool. Looks really cool. It's kind of old and beat up. Now, I do know there is an active light switch. Yep. So, we have working lights. And I believe you get three products. So, the input is wood. And I believe you get... Like two kinds of boards or maybe two stacks of boards and then wood chips and the wood chips come out here and they mound up and you have to scoop those out or you can use like a conveyor belt and some other stuff to bring that out so you will have to do that manually I'm pretty sure yep here's the input so you can see input one it just says input one but that's it's gonna be uh, logs and then you get boards wood chip and boards so that's pretty pretty cool. I want to fire this up because I bet you all this stuff moves. Oh, this is so cool. These details, they're, it's just beautiful. I mean, the rust, the metal. Very good job. I think uh, they do some great work here. That's a, Yep, these open. We'll just go ahead and open them up. Make sure they all work. Everything works. Flip that light switch on. 
Okay, so you have two sets of lights, one at the front end, one here at the back end. Very nice. Alright, this is... Is this like an old, uh... Old lathe? <laughs> that's so cool! Man, that'd be neat if that worked, huh? Alright, let's run over here to our logs. Let's, let's see if this stuff works. We'll jump in our handy-dandy truck here. Like I said, the doors actually are a really good size. I don't think they... At first, I was like, oh, they're kind of big, but once you get in the equipment, and you can actually kind of see these to scale, they look really, really nice. I'm using my keyboard, so sorry for the jerky jerky. Alright. Now, I don't know how this works. Let's see. I don't know if, like, if we just pull into this section... Or if I'm actually going to... I bet you I actually have to load them onto the thing. Well, just so happens I brought my auto-loading trailer because I don't... I don't mess around anymore. I don't I don't manually load anything when it comes to logs. I've done so many, so much logging. Uh, and then let's hit Z. Oh, look at that! No way, look! That is so cool. Let's load the rest of these logs in here and keep it running. That is so cool, man. All right. We're going to cut the truck off. Oh, there's a dude in there now. He's animated, too. Look at this. Oh, I'm watching. Let's see this. No way! This is insane! Look at this! That is so cool! Let's check our frame rate. 60. It's dropping just a little. Now, I run a uh, uh, Ryzen 5 chip and then a 1660 NVIDIA card. So it's kind of a mid-grade uh, computer. So nothing like super fancy. So the frame rate isn't getting too, too low. Oh! Oh! So we're down in the 40s when we look down here because there's another dust animation. We'll go down there in a minute. Let's keep looking at this. <laughs> that is crazy! That is insane! Look at this! Oh, man, the belts are turning. This is so... Cool. Okay, so we have a wood pallet here. And then what's this? Does that just... Does that go away? Let's just see what happens here. I'm just... I'm real curious to see what happens. Okay, so it loads the boards on there. That goes away. And then you have end cuts here. So you have regular boards. Here. Fill type boards. Then we have... What's over here? fill type. This is, I guess, a different type of boards. Let's check something real quick. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean for that to happen. Let's go in here and see if these... Yep, so these are automatically added to the cell point in town. Or, or to a cell point. Of course, you have to have the global company script uh, activated. I'll just grumble to myself. Um, so you have to have the global company mod downloaded, but this will automatically sell it or apply it to your cell points. This thing is so cool. You got the dude working here. You got the logs cutting. Look at that. That is insanely cool. Oh, wow. They really outdid themselves. The belts are turning. Okay, let's go down here and look at the... Okay, so there's your pile of wood chips that are coming out. That is really cool. Well, I, I think I'm going to have to change out sawmills on um, on Beaver Creek. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the other one out. The other one is, I mean, it's neat and it makes makes product, but it's, I don't know. It's just not as cool as this. And look at this. It loads. Cut wood. I mean, they, I don't know who did all these animations, but amazing work. 
I would pay for this. Like, I would pay for a quality of mod like this. Oh, man. As you can tell, I'm really excited. Can you guys tell? And here it is. They're lo it's loaded another log. Now, it's not the fastest in the world, but I love that. I don't think this stuff should be super fast. Let's see what kind of... I mean, we're looking at only 8% of that pallet, and we've been running for a little while. Which I love. I love that it's slow. Oh, man. I'm going to speed up time. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to see if if it the animation coincides. Okay, no. So these pallets... The, the animations are just for show. So these will... Act, these If you can watch as I speed up time, it starts to fill up. Even without it dropping boards. So it is timed. That is really cool. That is really, really cool. All right, let's get a full... Um, now that we know how this works, let me go ahead and get a full pallet here, because I want to want to test this other mod. So I'll just turn this up to 2,000 real quick. Okay, almost full. There it is. That's a full pallet. 4,000 liters. And let me see if it says it's full. It probably only holds one pallet at a time before we have to empty it. Nope, nope. So it'll it'll have room for two pallets. Oh, there's another stack. Oh, that is so cool. Look, it's the other stacks right here. Oh, can you guys tell I'm excited? Just a little. Raz, calm down. Okay. Now let's get let's get over here. I want to grab. Even the boards look really nice. I like this. All right, let me grab this guy here. Manitou. I'm just curious to see how heavy these are. It would take a little work to get these out. I mean, you really couldn't use anything but a forklift. Because I don't... Does this open? Does this... No. Nope, that doesn't open. Because I was like, hmm, let me see if that opens, but it doesn't. So I'm going to have to put a hole in the glass. That's okay. I like a challenge. I bet you it'd probably be easier to get it from the other side. Might be the future. Just kind of push that a little. Oh, please, please work, pallets. This mod has everything else going for it. Please work. Why not? Must not be. There you go. I just wasn't lined up right. Okay, so they're not ridiculously heavy. This is so... Now, will we be able to get out? Yep, it's like the perfect width. <laughs> this is so cool! I'm so excited! Can you tell? Now, I don't... Now, let's... Uh, we looked at that one. Let's, let's leave our... Let's not, not get over, ahead of ourselves. This is the pallet factory. It comes in the same pack, same download as that one. They've come together. And I'm assuming this is the input for the logs, I'm going to assume. Okay, you have a working door. I already walked in here. Lights. Oh, man, look over there. Look. This is welcome to... Watch, watch when I turn this on. It's a neon sign lit up. That is so cool. Does this do anything? Nope. Okay. Alright. Assuming the pallets get put in here? Could be wrong. Okay, so... Input, it doesn't list, but then it says empty pallets. I'm gonna assume that the input is boards, because it comes in the same pack. But before we do that, let's look. This is so cool. This is so cool. Look at this stuff. I mean, they just clearly outdid themselves. It's hard to see, but welcome to S and W modding. We'll do Palatin bound. We'll do all by Susie one by Susie thirty one. I I don't speak German. Uh, but that is that sign is really cool. It's so cool. This stuff is so cool. 
Oh, there's like a little office area. No, wait, look it. If those run when this turns on, I'm going to be like floored. We'll come back and check. I'm just trying to make sure nothing else. Open overview. Oh, okay. So that's how you get to the board menu. Or the um, palette menu. It's like a little trigger right here. Oh, it's right here on this control panel. Okay. Little <laughs> place for coffee. Office. Yeah, I, I already che I checked all these doors. Let's go up back here just because I'm curious to see what else is on this. Oh, let's see if we can go up here. Let's see if there's any like hidden stuff up on the roof. Nope. Nope, just a roof. That's all right. All right. Yeah, we jumped down. Let's let's put our pallet. Uh, let's put the boards there. Let's just see. What, I want to see what happens. I want to see what happens. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. I'm assuming they go here because that's what the kind of the picture looks like. Yep, it's already running. So it's unloading the logs. Oh, you can see the robot arms moving! No way! Door's a little tight. This is so cool! <laughs> I love it! Look at it! Again, let's check our frames. A little dip, a little dip, which I'm going to assume... I mean, you're going to have to have. Because this stuff is animated. It's, are you, look at it, it's building a freaking pallet. No way. I thought the vineyard mod was the best mod. Look, it's gonna. No freaking way. There is no. I am, my mind is blown right now. Gosh. Let's see what he does. He, of course, he just stacks it. He's just like, here you go, pals. Whoa, don't take me out. I'm like in the nest of Skynet here. I need to be careful. This is awesome. This is awesome. It's lit up. We have an automated pallet factory, and it built the pallet right in front of us. I'm just... I'm I'm just floored. Let's close this door because I don't like open doors. Oh, we have a dude. Hey, guy, what's up? You must be the twin brother of the guy over there. What do you got here? Now it, you don't see him moving, but it does. Now it says input three eight six six, output one thirty one. So it does tell you on these little screens how much wood you have left and how many pallets you have. This is so cool. Let's check around and make sure nothing else turned on. Oh, looky there. Hey, lady. Oh. Hi. How are you? How long have you been working here? You look a lot like the lady from uh, Hoff Bergman. Kind of. Back in the day. I'm sorry. Did I bother you? I'll leave you alone. Let's see. Is there anything else out here? Cool, you have smoke animation now coming off the top. That's really cool. Let's see if we got anything else going on around here. These metal pipes, no. Man, this is really, really cool, guys. This is pretty awesome. Now, here's the only problem. How do you get the pallets out the out of here? just thinking I was like I wonder if that opens no <laughs> look at this this is insane look oh you gotta get it how did I open that there you go 
You have to, like, find the right trigger. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I love this stuff. I am so happy. I'm so happy I found this. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Let it run for a little while. See our sawmill still running here. Like I said, our frame rate's dropping a little. But we have a lot of animations going. Again, it's not great. And I think I have I think I have everything maxed out. I have my settings turned in the game to like super max settings. So not bad really considering we're down in the 40s with all the dust stuff going on there. Those are moving. I mean, you can see dust over here. You can see the light, the arms are moving and cutting. So there's a lot going on right here in this area. So if you have a real low-end computer, I don't know how well this will work for you. I guess um, you just have to try it out and see. I love it, though. I am absolutely sold. This is going in my next... Uh, I, I, I'm putting this in Beaver Creek, so it's going to happen. I'm going to take out the other sawmill. And then I'm... I'm Courage to see what happens with these pallets. I'm just, I'm really excited to see what SW modding comes up with next. All right, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. We're going to get some pallets built up and we're going to test out this auto load pack. Quick. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so why I had a moment, I wanted to stop and show you something real quick. I was fast forwarding through time and it started to rain. Now, I don't know about you, but I've run into some mods lately where the rain is coming through, it's like clipping through the buildings, not in this one. Look, the roof works. There's no rain inside, there's rain out there. Again, another like score for this one. Big win here. You get in here, no rain. Rain's outside. Let's run over to the other one so that I can... Yep, no rain. No rain inside with the factory arms. Here's the stack of pallets right there. You get 4,000 liters per stack. Now, I don't know what if these will work with other mods. I don't know if you can use these as pallets for other mods that take pallets. I do know that they sell. I also find that, found out these, even though they have a different skin than those boards, are the exact same. You can feed these boards into the pallet machine and it takes them. And that's why you only have two price. You have a price for boards and your price for pallets. Which is really nice. All right. I think, let me, uh, let me stage some pallets here real quick and get that all set up and we'll test out uh, the equipment. I'll be right back. All right, everybody. What I'm going to look at is the auto load pack version 2.0 by BD Modding. B is in boy, D is in dog. BD Modding. Um, credits also go to Alfalfa6945 for the script and then the Giants for the models. It, that is what's in the mod description. Real quick, I'll jump in here and take a, I'll show you. Everything comes in its own section here in the garage. So you don't have to um, dig through and find each one. It actually has right here, it says auto load. Now this uses the easy auto loader enabled. Now, um, I don't know if you had to have a special mod or anything like that. I just went ahead and put this pack in by itself. I downloaded it, dropped it in here. Uh, it's about 60 megabytes. And the only downside is this is a, you can get the link through modhoster.net. But the most recent version, this one here, that's supposed to work with these big pallets is uh, upload.net. So it'll take you about 20, 30 minutes to get it up uh, downloaded. As you can see, we have... Just the Flegel trailer. And this also works not just with pallets, but for bales and all that stuff too. Allows bales and pallets. So there's your bale wagon. The Stroutman. Uh, you also have an IT runner platform. Which is nice. And then this big, the big one there. And they all come with different options. I mean, you can go with two wheels, different colors, beacon lights. I mean, it, there's, there's every one of them have... This one have just colors, just tires on that. What do we have here? Collision. Okay, so spare tire, yes or no. You can do, I mean, fold it. You can do all different kinds of stuff. You get the gist of it, right? 
Here's the moment of truth. Does it work? That's what we all really care about. Raz, we don't care what it looks like. We want to know if it works. Let's pull up the F1 menu and see here. Over on the left-hand side, we can select palettes, normal palettes. Ooh. See, that's the, I haven't seen that designation yet. So normal palettes, I'm going to assume, are in-game palettes. Boards palettes. That, again, completely new distinction. Big boards palettes. Oh, my. Large square bales, 1.3 mission palettes. Just palettes. So let's do, let's do board palettes. I want to see what happens over here. Got us some boards put over here. And let's see if we can turn our work mode on over here by it and see if it'll load it up. Hit you. Boom. It sure does. Now it does overlap those. So that may not be the right selection. So let's turn work mode off. Let's turn on our unload position so you can adjust it, you can move it, it has all those great features. Let's unload those there, they're going to fall on top of each other. Now, let's change our designation to big boards pallets, and now let's hit you. Much nicer. Yep. Much nicer. Uh, looks like they overlap just a little. Just a little right here through the grate, but you don't have to put this grate on. You can take that off, and it looks like, are they just that close? Oh, there's just that well done, and you probably, I don't know how many pallets it'll carry. I couldn't tell you. You'd have to find out on your own, but we have an auto-loading trailer that works with um, the board pallets for this pack. I, now, I don't know about other packs, but I would say that it should work. Awesome. That is excellent. Now, let's go over here. Large square bales, one round. Mission pallets, pallets. I'm going to just select pallets. Just regular pallets. I want to see what it looks like when it loads it. I'm going to say that we're going to be fine here. Let's see if it loads this up. We'll hit you. Yep. Loads it right up. Look at that. Okay, so it holds two of 16, so you can put 16 stacks on here. Excellent. I guess let's, uh, let's run back over to the logs and see what it says, how many stacks we can carry. I'm going to definitely be using this now. This pack is going in my library. Not that I don't mind auto-loading. Actually, I, I, it's, it's okay. These pallets are, are really nice. The, the weight on them is really nice. They're not too wonky, and that forklift handles them really well but I definitely want to keep it around I, I like these auto loaders for when I'm just not in the mood to do it all right so we said big board pallets will hit you yep so three of four so you only can hold four stacks which that's okay that's all right you know that's not too bad definitely not too bad at all all right let's uh let's I want to look at something real quick let's pull up this little strawman I'm just curious to see if if it'll even hold the board pallets. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a siren outside my house. Hit lease, and then let's grab, uh, just grab a little, our claws here. I'm moving faster than the game can spawn stuff in. Frame rate's still in the 50s with all these pallets, with all the stuff running. And there's 60, so low 40s and 50s. It's not a horrible drop. There is a drop with this stuff, but... All right, so pallets, normal pallets, boards, pallets, big boards, pallets, large square bits. Okay, so you can load everything on this one, too. Look at there. An actual hose that attaches to the tractor. Wow. I don't know if that's a Giants model thing or not. But it seems like here lately, every time I put a base game model in, it doesn't have... Oh, this one you can do, uh, this one added egg boxes that wasn't in the big trailer. So that's really nice. You can do egg boxes with this. We'll go back over to pallets. We'll hit you. Loads right up. It'll hold six stacks. Man. Excellent. All right. Stuff definitely works. Definitely works. Really, really happy with it. I hope you guys are too. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you like this mod. And uh, sorry it's raining. <laughs>
I really hope you like this mod. Let's uh, tell you what. Let's do something real quick. Let's see what this stuff looks like at night real fast. We're going to crank this forward. Until the sun goes down. I was just seeing if they have any fancy outdoor lighting. Nope, but you have this exterior light here. Oh, wow, that's bright at night. And I'm out of wood, so this thing is shut down. Yep, I'm out of boards. This thing is probably full. Yep, we're full here. Let's see how many logs we have left. We still have a lot of logs left. Oh, and wood chips. That's what we wanted to test real quick. Jump in our handy dandy New Holland here and I think you should be able to use anything with a bucket now back to those uh, those uh, pallet trailers you can use that on Slovak Village I know some people uh, I leave, I've read comments where people are like is there a yep soup scoops right up look at that another really really nice touch now what you would do with these don't know on your own you have to figure it out you could just put like a little heating plant right outside here you know that powers everything but those are wood chips and it scoops them so that test is complete so we have verified all functions of the mod we have looked at the beauty of said mod and we've looked at it at night looks great be nice if there's like a sign right there big neon sign but definitely looks really cool all right thank you guys for tuning in i really appreciate you coming by thanks for watching don't forgive don't forget to like comment subscribe go to modhoster.com download these mods go into the comments make an account it just takes a second guys go in there and tell these modders how great of a job they're doing i don't think enough people are telling modders thank you all this I don't, it, this took hours and hours and hours of work to create and I got it for free so thank you SW modding thank you BD modding thank you Susie and Wingy thank you alfalfa 694 thank you Giants for giving us a wonderful game to play in and thank you all for watching I really appreciate it and until next time please stay safe see you around all right take care guys bye